What's up, my cancers? Happy birthday. What's up? It's BMHP. Sorry for the delay. Been a little busy traveling and stuff, but I am back. Let's go ahead, jump into your reading, see what's been going on with you, what's been going on with your person, or what beloved kind of wants you to know at this time. Beloved, what's going on with the Cancerians? What's going on with the Cancers for their birthday? What's going on, beloved? Thank you so much. Alrighty. So you have hope. Okay, so there's some you believing in, some you hoping for. The sun is shining your way, Cancer. I feel like you got a lot of people that's interested in you or trying to do nice things for you at this time, Cancer. But some got you trapped in fear. And what's crazy is the sun is shining for you and on you. But there's definitely something that got you trapped in fear. Of course, you, you being a um, water sign, very intuitive. So intuition is here at the foundation, Cancer. And the recent past, I guess you were feeling a little defeated about a situation, about a person or something. Maybe some ghosts from the past were hunting you. But it looks like you got your power back, Cancer. And it looks like you're setting yourself up for some recognition and reward in the near future. So, Cancer, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. See what's up. There's a door, Cancer, that's trying to open for you. I feel like there's, there's something that you're on the verge of if you follow your intuition and just listen to your heart versus um 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 denying yourself that's not the word i'm looking for um versus being indecisive and not knowing what you should do if you take that leap of faith cancer i feel like it'll all work out in your favor beloved but let's see what's up mm. Let's see. What one to hop out? The Four of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So someone's holding on to you or you're holding on to somebody, Cancer. Let's see what's up. What's going on for my Cancerians, please? What's up, beloved, for the Cancers? So you have the Fool and you have the six of swords now this six of swords there's something definitely that something from your past something still bothers you cancer it's like you might deal with this energy at nighttime because it's uh, during the day this is how you look you look like you know you're ready for the world you're not scared of anything like you're willing to take a chance but at night it's like it's a different story or something cancer like a ghost of the past hunt you maybe things you've done things you wish you would have done or something but it's like i feel like you're going through a spiritual battle in some sorts cancer trying to move on from things of the past things that happen okay so in the recent past, Cancer, we got conflict and defeat. No, Cancer, this is such a Cancer story, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon. It's, it's Once again, it's that energy of day and night. During the day, you're working hard, you get into the money, all that type of stuff. But at night, I feel like it's something different. Like you're haunted by something. Like something bothers you at night. You know, you might find yourself um, in a depression at night or something like that. But it's definitely this night and day energy. Like you being split between two people. Like, you know, showing the world one face and having another face cancer. And that's exactly what's going on with this power card. How ironic. You know? But let's see here. What's going on with the hope? So you got the two of wands in the world. Cancer, what is this? Is this a person, place, or thing that you're indecisive about? It's like... It's like... You have the whole world in your hand, but you, you're not making that choice. You're not making that decision. I'm not sure if this got to do with your love life, with your life in general, but you got the whole world in your hand, and it's like your indecisive look. She's holding it in her hand, and there it is again. So you got you got it in your hand, Cancer. I don't know if you're afraid to, to, to take this leap or what's going on, but it's something that's making you very indecisive at this time, Cancer. Okay? But let's see, trapped in fear. Once again, that day and night energy. You know, as the sun go down, it's like this is what you do. Or this could, it could be what your person do or someone around you do, Cancer. But I feel like it's this dualistic energy that keeps coming up. 
So you got death and the three of wands. There's something you want to do, but you're afraid that it won't work out the way you want it to. You're afraid that like if you don't come the right way or do the right thing or say the right thing, it might not work out the right way. But I see you're building up your strength, your courage, but you're still in this dualistic energy, Cancer. You have to choose whether you're going to be one or the other, beloved. Oh, the page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So you are being tempted, and that's probably what's bothering you. Like you got a choice to make, and it's like it's taking you a long time or something. It's taking all the strength within you. This could be something about money or finances or something, because whatever these goals are at the foundation, okay? They're still, they're still bothering you, even in in the crown space. What's crowning the reading? Like Cancer, this is you sitting right here. What is this? thing that's tempting you that's causing you to be indecisive like i feel like you already know what you need to do you know there could be there could be like some childhood wounds or childhood issues that need to be healed or something like that something regarding i don't know if you're not like if you grew up um i don't want to say poor but you grew up in a household that was poor and in, in love poor in spirit poor in something but it's something that got you indecisive, scared as hell. But look what's coming up. Recognition and reward, Cancer. There you go, babe. The King of Cups and the um, Sun. Whatever this is, Cancer, that's coming up for you is going to make you happy. Go ahead and make that choice, beloved. Okay? Because it's like, it's like something's being poured into your life. Something, whatever, whatever you've been indecisive about, go ahead and choose, Cancer. Okay, what is what's the energy? Why is Cancer being decisive at this time? Why is Cancer being indecisive at this time? Why is Cancer being indecisive? So you have isolation, release. And destiny. I'm gonna be honest with you, Cancer. With this tuxedo showing up like this, this looks like somebody that was prepared for um to be rich, to be married, something like that, right? But they didn't believe in themselves or something, so they hung up their suit or something like that. Like and and, and maybe you went in your shell with this isolation energy. Um it feels like an energy where like you put yourself out there and you could have got hurt or something or or someone around you um was the one that hurt or something but it's like it made you go into this type energy and this is what's keeping you from making a choice because either there's some from the past you need to release something that you need to let go and it's definitely reiterating it because it keeps haunting you okay whatever this thing or whatever is is stopping your sunshine if it's involving a person it's 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 your destiny you you maybe that's the energy i'm picking up that you two might be like day and night in some ways or something but it's like the perfect person from you and like your ancestors or passed on loved ones is trying to get you to um pursue this cancer okay let's see what else what else does cancer need to know what else is this situation involving what else Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Now, who is these people, Cancer? We have an ice queen that's controlling you, got their back turned to you. And we got a brunette female that's all on you, that wants to be in union with you, so on and so forth. So this could be you, Cancer. This could be your person. But I feel like there's two different energies here. Maybe that's that dualistic energy I kept picking up. And this is why you're being indecisive. You need to make a choice because whatever choice you make is going to lead you to happiness. But you have to make a choice. You can't have both. Okay? That, and whoever this ice queen person is, they can know about who this br brunette female is. Okay? So let's go ahead, Cancer, and get you a love message and we'll get up out of here. Beautiful. Surrender to God. 
Suffering is nothing but resistance to God. The more you resist, the more you suffer. It is simple. Once you surrender to God, there is no struggle. There is no resistance. There is no struggle. And whatever this energy is, being trapped in fear, that's the energy you need to surrender a cancer. If you surrender to God, allow God to like put it in his hand. Maybe these are God's hands that are trying to make you happy. But look at the look at the synchronicity with the sun keep trying to shine through. Maybe you're not seeing it, Cancer, but it's there for you. The sun is here, 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 here. God is with you, beloved. Make a choice. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.